Hey everybody in here, sitting here having my coffee with all of you lovely people. And right now it's about 30 degrees outside. Done chicken chores, same old, same old. Um, but it's going to get up to about 40 some odd degrees, so I got to gather some more wood. I got to bring some more wood up to the tiny house. Uh, I got to bring some inside the tiny house because tomorrow it's only going to get up to, I think, like around 29 degrees and it's going to go down to 12 degrees so I'm going to be needing lots of wood in here um, and I'm running out of kindling I'm, I've been using a whole lot of kindling uh, so yeah I'm going to go do some stuff outside and uh, have a look around see what I can find I scored big time this morning found a whole mess of wood ear black fungus whatever and a couple of oyster mushrooms that I'm just dehydrating like this I don't know, I think I need to put foil on there so I can put the wood air on there too. Nah, I think I'm going to do this method again. Yeah, it worked very well before, so I'll just leave this door open. And it creates enough heat and airflow that these will be dehydrated probably in a couple of hours. I'm just getting started. Any of the stuff that snaps when it breaks goes in there. Bigger stuff and stuff that's not really very dry is going to go in there. Um, oh, and I've been cutting down some brush down by my culvert. Got a lot more to go, but I just kind of like bend it around and then I'll wrap it with something and um, it makes some nice fire starter material. Yeah, only just beginning. I filled up those two containers, so I'm starting to fill this up with smaller stuff. Most of it's pretty wet, so it's going to have to sit out and dry. But what I've been doing is gathering wood. In preparation of a big day chopping wood remember those three poplar um, they were laying down on the ground I've just kind of propped them up facing the Sun so that they can dry out a little bit I have pulled some more pieces over here and I'm gonna stack some more up because in a few days there's gonna be a massive tree processing day it's gonna be exciting Look at this wood pile. It sure has shrunk, hasn't it? Yeah, there's nothing underneath it here. So I'm going to grab a bunch of this and take it into the house. There is a little tiny bit left in there. I think that's going to have to do it for this load. Phew. I still have to carry it all into the house. But I'm going to be warm and toasty. You know, I think I'm going to let it sit out here in the sun for a little bit. Just get as dry as absolutely possible. <laughs> A lot of that is going to go in the pile inside that won't be used for several days. Um, yeah, just let it dry out for a little bit. Take a break. I need to go into town. I don't want to go into town, but I need provisions. One of the Easter eggers was vigorously scratching in here, so I bet you she totally removed all of the bedding. No, she didn't. Oh, looky! We got an egg over here today. That's wonderful. Let's see what's going on in here. Yep, doesn't look like they've been laying in the corner since I put those cinder blocks down. I am going to give them some fresh bedding because, remember, this is all on the floor. Sorry, I'm not filming very well, but um, this is on the floor, the ground, and the ground has been getting wet, so that's why the eggs are getting dirty. So let me just fix this up a little bit for you ladies. Alrighty then, I think that looks a little bit better. And I've tried to kind of pack it down in the center and make them a little <laughs> well, but they'll mess it around themselves. Yeah, a few big chunks in there, but they'll just pick through it and spread it around further. So hopefully this will keep the eggs clean for just a little bit longer. But you know what I'm going to do for right now? I am going to put this one back. So hopefully they will lay another one right there. They've been laying in this box, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get a couple more eggs today. <coughs> yep. So Flame is crowing. He's crowing. I still haven't decided what I'm going to call these two. There's Flame over there. Come on, boy. He's not going to do it when we stand here. Look how big he's gotten.
He's just gorgeous. Come on, do it. Yeah, I could tell the sound of a new crow because he's flame has got his pretty much perfected. So you're next, buddy. I gotta go put some bedding in theirs, add some to it. Come on, do it. There you go. There you go, fellas. Nice and clean. Added a whole new thing of uh, bedding. So, yeah, this composting, deep composting method creates heat, which is especially important during the winter. So they've got plenty of bedding now. Well, I can barely see daylight. I can see it in a few spots, but I'm gonna feel that pipe and see if it's cool enough for me to take it down and clean it out. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even feel warm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that down. That needs to be cleaned. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I'd say it's time. Oh, yeah. That is a heck of a lot better. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I sure can. Let's see if I can show you daylight. There is daylight. <laughs> there you go. Nice and clean. I'm going to be glad later tonight and tomorrow all day. That I did this. These have been dehydrating all day, so let me check out and see. Oh, yeah. The oyster mushrooms are definitely done. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nice and crispy. Time to put them in the jar. I got to go into town here in a little bit, but today has turned out to be a beautiful day. So I'm going to hurry into town, come back, and enjoy the rest of the sunshine because it's going to take a turn starting, well, tonight. Yes, it is. Uh, so you know what? Let's just keep this one short. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.